Now it is going to be time for you to do the work. The first thing you're going to have to do is to go on Virgilus Project website and start poking around with the actual structures. You're going to have to find one structure and then see if there is any difference between different versions of Windows 10. For instance, you can look at the eProcess structure. Then you are going to use Process Explorer to list the different processes that are running on your system. And then for a given process, list all the different threads. You will be able to list the sessions associated with, with these processes and also all the open handles for different objects. Finally, you'll have to use WinOpt sysentinel tool to find new object types that you don't know and then find their associated kernel structure on Virgilus or in the WinDBG debugger. Okay, now it's your turn.